NASA is trusted for the clearest window into the cosmos, so why are backyard astronomers, amateurs, beating them at their own game? Capturing sharper details of 3i Atlas that official releases barely hint at. There is a sunward jet, a retrograde orbit near the ecliptic, and image gaps no one can fully explain. Suddenly, quiet emissions feel more remarkable than any discovery. What exactly are we missing, and why? On a clear July night in Austria, Michael Jaeger set up his 11-inch Newtonian telescope and pointed it toward the faint blur of 3i Atlas. Using a cooled CMOS camera and a stack of 45 one-minute exposures, he captured a view that would ripple across astronomy forums within hours. The resulting image showed a crisp, bright nucleus surrounded by a structured coma and a tail that split cleanly from the core, features missing from NASA's official gallery. Jaeger's workflow was not unique. Across Europe, North America, and South America, a network of dedicated hobbyists followed similar routines. They registered each frame on the comet's shifting nucleus, stacked dozens, sometimes hundreds, of exposures, and applied rotational gradient filters to tease out faint jets and subtle boundaries in the coma. In online communities, these images were compared side by side with NASA's press releases. The difference was impossible to ignore. Where official images looked evenly lit and soft, the amateur composites revealed sharp contrasts and intricate structures. Some contributors, like Francois Kugel in France and Vamshi Kesiredi in India, wrote detailed notes on their process, discard trailed frames, align on the nucleus, stretch the histogram, and use unsharp masking to highlight faint outflows. Their tools ranged from Deep Sky Stacker to Pix Insight, with final tweaks in Photoshop or open source scripts. For many, the motivation was simple, curiosity, pride, and the thrill of seeing what the world's biggest space agency seemed to leave out. In forum threads, one amateur joked, if NASA won't show it, I guess it's up to us. Others spoke with a mix of excitement and concern, noting that their single night composites captured core features absent from any official gallery. The global stacking community did not just fill a gap, they became trusted witnesses, showing that with patience and the right tools, even a backyard telescope could reveal what billion-dollar observatories sometimes miss. The result was a growing sense that the sharpest window onto 3i Atlas was not always found in the institutional archives, but in the hands of those willing to chase the comet through the night and share every detail, no matter how unexpected. The most debated feature in these amateur images is the forward-facing jet, an arc of material that seems to blaze out ahead of 3i Atlas directly toward the sun. This is not a trick of the camera or a quirk of one observer. Over weeks, dozens of independent stacks from Chile to Austria have shown the same sunward fan, bright and persistent, sometimes shifting with the comet's rotation but never vanishing entirely. In technical threads, the jet is measured, traced, and compared to both the comet's velocity and its changing position relative to the sun. The consensus is clear, this structure is real, not a digital artifact or a fleeting outburst. The puzzle deepens when the orbit is plotted. 3i Atlas moves on a retrograde path, meaning it travels against the flow of the planets. Yet its trajectory hugs the ecliptic, the thin disk where most solar system bodies travel. According to the JPL late 2025 solution, the inclination sits near 60 degrees. That is steep, but not outlandishly so. What stands out is the combination, an interstellar comet, retrograde, and skimming close to the solar system's main plane. Orbit modelers at NASA and the Minor Planet Center flag this as rare. Internal comments from the JPL team called the path one for the textbooks, noting that most interstellar objects come in at wilder angles. The jet's orientation only adds to the questions. In most comets, jets shoot out from active regions but rarely anchor themselves sunward for weeks at a time. Here, the forward-facing jet matches the direction of solar heating, suggesting a patch of highly volatile ices newly exposed to sunlight. Some professionals argue that such features can appear during a comet's first approach, but the persistence across nights and observers keeps the debate alive. For orbit teams, the challenge is more than just mapping a path. 
The combination of a steep retrograde orbit and a stable sunward jet hints at processes or histories not fully captured by current models. Spreadsheets circulate, plotting possible origins and gravitational encounters, but the numbers keep circling back to the same conclusion. 3i Atlas does not fit easily into any familiar category. As one planetary scientist put it, we are seeing something that feels both ordinary and statistically unlikely at the same time. C-2014 UN-271, known as Bernardinelli and Bernstein, emerged from archival survey data as something entirely outside the norm. Its discovery revealed a comet of staggering proportions, one roughly 150 kilometers across, confirmed by Hubble and ALMA, dwarfing nearly every other known comet. Most long-period comets measure just a fraction of that size, but here was an object rivaling the icy bodies of the Kuiper Belt. Yet it was not only the scale that set UN-271 apart. Its activity began while the comet was still far beyond Saturn, in a region where sunlight barely registers and water ice is rock hard. In 2014, at nearly 24 astronomical units from the Sun, a faint coma appeared, an early sign that volatile material was escaping its surface well before most comets would even stir. By 2021, with the comet still over 19 astronomical units out, Radio telescopes detected carbon monoxide streaming away at a rate of billions of tons per year. ALMA and the James Webb Space Telescope Spectra revealed a cocktail of supervolatile ices, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and ammonia, each normally locked away deep within primordial bodies. The carbon monoxide production rate, nearly 5 times 10 to the 28th molecules per second, shattered records for cometary activity at such distances. These findings forced planetary scientists to reconsider what they thought they knew. Standard models predicted only small, fresh comets might show brief outbursts so far out, if at all. UN-271's persistent coma, sustained across years and astronomical units, pointed to a vast, untouched reservoir of ices preserved since the solar system's earliest days. Discovery teams across continents published their results with a blend of excitement and caution. Theories ranged from slow internal heating to cryovolcanism, or perhaps simply a nucleus so massive it could insulate its volatile core for eons. One fact stood uncontested, no comet had ever behaved like this. UN-271 had redrawn the map of cometary behavior, hinting at mysteries still hidden beyond Saturn. In the span of just eight years, the solar system has hosted three confirmed interstellar visitors. In 2017, Oumuamua slipped through with its tumbling, elongated shape and left astronomers arguing over its true nature. Two years later, Borisov arrived with a classic cometary tale but a composition that raised new questions. Now, 3i Atlas adds its own set of puzzles, a retrograde path, a persistent sunward jet, and a visual story that splits sharply between amateur and official images. This kind of clustering defies centuries of patient skywatching when whole generations might pass without a single confirmed interstellar object. Some survey scientists point to the rise of powerful automated sky searches, pan stars, the Zwicky Transient Facility, and soon the Vera Rubin Observatory. Their wide field cameras sweep the heavens every night, catching objects that would have slipped by unnoticed a decade ago. A few researchers argue that Earth's neighborhood may be denser with interstellar debris than once thought, or that we are simply living in an era when the background reality is finally coming into focus. But even among professionals, the timeline feels abrupt. Papers published in 2015 estimated that interstellar objects might be found once every century, not three times in less than 10 years. Each new discovery forces the models to stretch and the explanations to multiply. Outside the observatories, a different tension is building. Social media platforms echo with demands for raw, unfiltered data. Citizen advocates and science communicators press for open archives pointing to the sharp contrasts between backyard images and institutional releases. The most viral threads do not accuse, they question. If technology has advanced so far, why does the clearest view so often come from a garage or a garden? Why do official channels sometimes go silent when the story turns strange? 
For every new visitor, the gap between what is seen and what is shared widens. The call for transparency grows louder, not from a place of conspiracy, but from a simple desire to see the truth in real time. The stakes are no longer just about one comet or one image. They are about trust and about who gets to witness the universe as it really is. Right now, the sharpest mysteries in our skies aren't hidden, they are simply unspoken. As new visitors cross the solar system, public trust depends on clarity, not silence. The cosmos is not waiting for official statements, neither should we. What stands unexplained today shapes how we see tomorrow. Share your thoughts below.